All right, every week we focus on ways to get a jump start in the workforce. And in today's Reclaim Your Career, we're focusing on how to get your boss to notice you. Life coach Valerie Burton is the author of Where Will You Go From Here? She is here with some strategies. Okay, a lot of folks always feel like there's a formula yes. to get noticed or to get valued, etc. And you say, you know, it really may begin with getting to know your boss, knowing who he or she is, what makes them tick, what's yeah. their style. It's different with every boss and That's with every starters. company. Yeah, yeah, so you need to say, what is it that motivates my boss? You need to study your boss so you understand that because, you know, you may have some bosses that really value people being, you know, uh, perfectionists. You know, everything has mm -hmm. to be perfect. Others may enjoy the process. You know, so you need to say, what makes my boss look good, <laughs> right? Huh. And focus in on those things. If you know what motivates your boss, you can do those things and that will get you noticed. Okay, so just as you'll notice the boss's style, you've got to pay attention to your own style right. and be willing to make some adjustments because right. of kind of the office or company culture. Yeah, you have to take take a look at the culp company culture too. Mm -hmm. So it's about studying that. Some people get very frustrated because they feel like the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh -huh. Well, if that's what just works at your noise. company, <laughs> you know what? You might need to squeak a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But on at other companies, it may not be that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So you want to make sure you're not a shameless self-promoter at a company that really values teamwork and doesn't really value people being loud and you know really showing off a lot and then the role that you play or the position that you have you need to maximize it you need yes. to really kind of make sure you are doing all that you can and some yes at your in your current role so yeah. don't get so focused on that next promotion that you're not really focused on am I doing everything I can do mm -hmm. in my job so you need to say you know what what is the most persistent but fixable problem that I have the power to fix okay so you want to make sure you're doing everything you can do that's what gets you to the next level oh interesting and then you say you know, you need to discipline yourself. Yeah. What do you mean by this? That, <laughs> that talent, your ability is not everything not that enough. matters. That's right. Talent is not enough. A lot of times we focus too much on, oh, well, I'm better at this. Well, you've got to have those people skills. You uh -huh. really need to look at what was my last performance review like? What are the things that maybe people complain a little bit about? And I might be, you know, I might not like getting that constructive criticism, kind of your but I need to, need to pay attention to it and make changes and adjustments. And then there's the old adage, Thanks, Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, something like that, Something right? like that. But, you know, it's really, it's really kind of neat. The what you exude makes a difference. It makes a difference. And there's research mm. to back it up that people who are happier, who have more positive emotion, are more likely to get raises. They're more likely to be promoted. And on average, they have higher incomes. So we think that, you know, it's success that makes us happy, but it's really the other way around. So, you know what? Focus on having fun outside of work, and that will impact your work so life. So it's kind of being likable, but it doesn't necessarily parallel well with the whole, you know, good guys finish ahead or even sometimes last, some say. <laughs> sometimes it's last, but you know what? You, we need to find those ways to be happier because work is stressful yeah. enough. So if you can, even if it's yeah. just a little bit of time you have, make sure that you're doing things that give you some positive yeah, emotion. Yeah, you're going to spend a lot of time there, right? It works, so That's you right. might as well make the most of it and be happy with it, right? Be happy with <laughs> it. That gets you noticed. People yeah. like people that they like. Okay. <laughs> Valerie Burton, thanks so much. Thanks, Brett. Makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs>